and welcome back. As project managers and project teams, we send out a number of reports every single week, maybe every single month. The problem with preparing those reports is that it takes a lot amount of our time, and specifically when it's repetitive. Macros in Microsoft Excel enables us to reduce that amount of time significantly. For example, as you can see in this report here, I have the reporting week, the budget of the project, the plant cost and everything. And I am responsible for sending out the weekly earned value report of the project, which includes the diagrams and charts as well. So I have automated this process in order to reduce the time it takes. What I do is, I come to this button, click it, and the report will be generated automatically. I can do the same for the week number two. I'll come to this button, click this button, and the report for this week will be generated. So each week, I don't have to go and prepare this chart manually. Besides the simple chart, you can create a number of other charts using the same method that I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. In order to get started with macros, make sure that the Developer tab on your Microsoft Excel is on. If it's not, right-click in this area, go to Customize the Ribbon, and in here, check the Developer. If it's unchecked, the Developer will disappear. But if we come again to this area, right-click, go to Customize the Ribbon, and we will check the Developer. The Developer will appear in here. Click the Developer, go to Macros. You can record the macro from here or from down here as well. It doesn't matter whichever you click, we'll click this one. We will name our macro Earned Value. Make sure to not leave a space between the words. You can put a shortcut key for this as well. I will name this Ctrl plus E and click OK. The macro recording will begin. Now what I want to create is an Earned Value report which will show the budget, the planned value, actual cost, cost variance, schedule variance, and everything. Make sure to remember the series of steps you're going to take in order to record your macro. If you make a mistake, you have to re-record your macro. Or if you're good with coding, you can edit the module itself. Now, I will select these cells, which contain the budget, planned value, actual cost, earned value, and everything. Next, I will go to Insert, and from here, I'll click 2D Columns and select the first one. This one will be created for me. Now, this is what I want to be automatically generated once I click that button. By pressing this button, we will stop recording the macro. The macro will be saved. After recording the macro, make sure to go to Developer, go to Macros. From here, let's edit the macro. And as you can see in here, it's only recorded only for week 1. Make sure to remove the sheet name from here. If you don't, it will be applied only to sheet number 1, and the data from sheet number 1 will be selected. And leave the double quotes, do not remove them. I'll delete this and close this. Next thing is to insert the button. For that purpose, again we will come to Developer, we will come to Insert, from here, we will select the button. I'll draw the button here, and I'll link it to the earned value, and click OK. You can rename the button, for example, let's write down Create Chart, and you can further format this button as well, for example, the text and the button, its color and everything. Now if I remove this from here, and again, I click the Create Chart button, the chart will be automatically generated. We can copy this button to other sheet and paste it in here as well. Let's paste it in here and take it to right here. Now as we click the button, the report for this one will be generated. I hope my videos bring efficiency in your daily work. If they do so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, Besides that, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages for more useful information. Thank you very much for watching.